My name is Makucha Bodo. I am from Gomplanga in Pumalanga. I am at the University of Pretoria studying computer engineering, sponsored by APSA. The University of Pretoria is a highly esteemed institution that I've always aspired to go to because it has the, one of the best engineering faculties in the world. It's highly esteemed. So I just wanted to be one of the greats and the top. And as for computer engineering, I've always had a special love for technology. I've always loved working with machinery. I, I always just want to know how does something function? What makes it function? Who built it? Why is it built that way? Uh, my industry is a technology-based one, as I think you can hear from my qualification, computer engineering. It's a very fast-paced industry with many opportunities to grow. There are so many things to learn. You can be, let's say, a game designer. You can be a software engineer. You can be in cybersecurity. You can be in robotics. So, so there's just space for everyone, and that's what I love about it. It's accommodating for people of all sorts of personalities and all sorts of skills. So one of the biggest problems that I feel is a big issue in our world is access. Especially in South Africa, as you know that there are large economic divides, there are certain classes of people that don't have access, especially when it comes to the issues of differently abled people. So I want to be able to use my qualification to develop structures that are going to make those people who don't have access to all the technology that I have now or that people in the cities have, I want them to have the same kind of opportunities that they, that a person from the city would have. So I'd like to use my qualification to ensure that those structures are available for people in much less privileged societies. Graduating from my institution would mean a lot to me and my family. For me, it would mean that I am a survivor. I was able to go through the pain of having a very academically challenging degree and making it through. And I will be able to help out at home financially and also be able to afford my siblings and my family a much better life than they have right now. So my graduation day is the only thing holding me together right now. Every time I imagine, I imagine my graduation day, I'm thinking me in the best emerald green gown. I'm thinking my mother there in the back going, Ali, li, 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 li. that's my baby, that's my baby. My family will be so excited. My parents will be so glad and so proud of me to see their dreams come true, especially knowing that they worked very hard to give me opportunities that they didn't have. So I'll make sure my dad will bring out the best Mercedes. My family will be sitting there in those high seats, just looking down at me, I'm getting my, my qualification from the vice chancellor and just going, hi, yes, I've made it and I'm here. I've been loving my experience at the University of Pretoria, but unfortunately, I've also had some negative experiences that come with it. I've been excited to be at the institution because it has broadened my lens in the world. I've, see, I've met so many different people. I've realized that there's so many different things you can do. There's so many different things you can learn. And that there's actually much more to the world than just at home. But also, unfortunately, I have sort of struggled with the workload and the pressure they put on us. But to my avail, we still have many support structures here at the University of Pretoria that I've been using to help myself through this experience. The part of the university experience that I am enjoying the most has to be the student life. It has to be the outside life. Like I love being at the I love being at UP. I like my lecturers. They know what they're doing and everything. But that's definitely not the best part. The best part is we have so many social events, we have so many sports events. There's so many things that I've never been to. Like it was my first time going through a, a, rag, a live rugby match just this year. I've met so many different new people. We have the piazza, there's always some sort of thing going on there. There's always some sort of free thing you can get. You can explore sports. So for me, it has definitely been a student life outside of campus. Knowing that I did not have to worry about pre-university entry fees, has brought so much relief to my life, especially because when uh, the time came to start applying, I was worried about, because so many institutions have expensive application fees, the fees you have to now, there's always all these extra costs, like you have to go and certify your documents, there are other things to do. So knowing that Bridge App has got me on that one thing, and they're making sure that I don't have to worry about application fees and tedious things like NBT fees. I am so grateful for that opportunity because it helped alleviate a lot of financial stress from my parents. Finding out that I was accepted at UP was, it was a whole experience. It was such a big experience because 
the 19th of January has come. You've been waiting for this day since you wrote your last paper and you're like, yes, that's it. And then the long wait starts getting your results. You get your results and you're like, ah, I'm happy, but hey, this one area. And now you're no longer sure if your institution is gonna watch you. And then that letter comes. Congratulations, you've been accepted to the University of Pretoria for this and that. On the day, I cried. I will not lie because I've been praying for this moment. I've been waiting. I've been eager. I cried. I remember I cried. I looked at it. I cried and I was like, are they sure? They're not going to send me an email telling me they rejected me after this one. I ran. I remember I ran from my room to my mother's room. And it's quite a distance. We're at our house. Now I'm running to my mother and I'm like, mama, mama. She's like, what is it? Because I'm, I'm just jumping up and down with joy and I'm like, mom, mom, I'm in, I'm in. So now I had to take a while to calm down to the day because it was such a great and elevated experience. It was like, yes, everything I've been working for in my life, that 12 years of girl bossing and academic weaponing was not for nothing. My experience with the Bridge Consultants was amazing. Honestly, they are such relatable people. They are always available. If you have a question, they will not chide you or shame you for it. You feel very free to speak to them and they're very open with information. They even tell you things that you didn't know that you had to know. They're always checking up on you and making sure that you're still on your game. They're always, they're always just so free and just so giving. And I'm grateful for that. And I wish they could continue to do the same for other matriculants because we need that in the world. The Bridge app was very useful to me in my matric year because it helped me first of all see what qualifications that I actually do qualify for. There's also one of my favorite features of the Bridge app was that you could put in your marks and then tell them your goal marks and then they will tell you for your dream institution or for your dream qualification, this is what you aim, have to aim for. So they also help you with goal setting. They help you be realistic when it comes to what you can actually apply for, what you don't apply for. They help you see what institutions are available for you. They also help you with bursary applications because you know what bursary is open when they're always giving you information, they're always reminding you. So that was a very helpful part of the, that's how I use the Bridge app to help myself through metric. The message that I would like to send to my Bridge app sponsor, APSA, is that thank you so much for making sure that my parents do not have to worry about application fees. Thank you so much for making sure that my metric year was easier with just one less thing off of my plate. And I hope that you can continue to do the same for others and that it could change their life just as it changed mine. The message that I would like to send to my high school teachers is that you guys are the boss. You are the star. You guys made sure. You guys have gone above and beyond. And even sometimes when it felt like unnecessary pressure, I realized now that you were doing that just to keep me on my toes. You always reminded me to keep my eye on the prize. And you always reminded me of what my real potential was, even when I had forgotten. So thank you so much, you guys. I would like to say to the current matric classes that keep your eyes on the prize. It gets hard, but it's worth it. So if you want to become like me and also go to a top institution, you can find more information at the www.bridgeup.co.za.